you out in the streets a little bit too much. Calm your butt down. Looking in the mirror at the new me Shine bright like a star, check the movie Out of all the stars I hear tonight I'ma make sure you can see my light yeah. Luminous and we glow like fireflies in the night Memories hold me close, you know there ain't nothing like How I feel to be home, how I be in with pride By the look in your eyes, I keep my love for you inside Used to be down, battle myself, I know But I choose to find my spark, yeah, I grow Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppington? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Breland. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell the way you don't miss a notification from me, and follow me on my social media at Breland Barbie. Oh my gosh, at Breland Hunt. <laughs> I've had my Instagram change for like two years and I still make that mistake sometimes. Anyway, if y'all are new here, I used to be called the Barbie, but it's okay. We're still a Barbie at heart, but um, in real life, we're Breland Hunt, so welcome back to my channel nice to meet you um and if you're new here welcome back hey y'all what's up double majors so today's tuesday i'm on my way right now i've had a very like productive day working on just like some admin things responding to emails i'm um, updating my cover letter um and my resume things like that and that is my notification to let me know to head out because traffic is light and it will take me 23 minutes to get to the buoy town center for performing arts which is where i'm headed to for a dance class you guys know my good friend maybe you don't i think you do daryl um me and him were both the directors for the miss hbcu teen scholarship pageant and he is a creative of all sorts and so he is hosting a dance class and so I'm gonna go and support him. Now it is a heels dance class, which I, ha first of all, I haven't taken a dance class in over a year. I mean, I definitely haven't taken a heels class in a very long time. So, you know, we'll see how this goes. Um, definitely going to support him, but also just to move my body. I think it's good for my mental health and my creative, you know, juices and stuff. So I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I just wish it wasn't heels. I mean, heels are cool, but, <sighs> Sometimes people be doing too much with the heels, you know, they be doing too much. And I'd be like, listen, I'm a little shy. I don't like to do too much. I like to keep it nice and modest and conservative, but it's fun. It's for a good cause. It's to, a support, it's to support a friend. Let's see what heels I want to wear. Um, I think these heels are going to hurt my feet. They're so tight. <laughs> okay, I think I used to wear these heels when I did, when I would go to heel dancing classes, but they're so tight, they literally hurt my feet. So I'm definitely gonna bring, I'll probably wear my Crocs. Yeah, I'll wear my Crocs. I guess I'll bring my whole workout bag, cause why not? All right, I'm gonna have my Crocs in here. And I also, y'all, I'm like, jizzed up on coffee. I haven't been drinking caffeine because 
I've honestly just been chilling. Like there's no reason for me to drink caffeine. But today I was like, you know what? I want to be really productive and water, we need water. And I wasn't really tired. I just felt like, you know, maybe today I deserve to drink some coffee. I did some abs this morning, but I didn't go to the gym because I knew that I was going to be going to this dance class later and that'll be like, my workout for the day. I didn't want to do pre-workout and I didn't want to do a Celsius. So of course I did coffee. Just so sensitive to caffeine. Me no longer being in school and not drinking it all day every day. I'm like, from just one cup of coffee. Hopefully I can burn off some of this energy. During the class, I'm also going to take a banana with me. Which one looks more green or more yellow? Fun fact, I like my bananas green, okay? So when I see one get a little bit yellow, I'm like, okay, I have to hurry up and eat it right now because I'm not gonna like it in 2.5 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna head there and hopefully I can film for you guys. That's if I don't embarrass myself and if I still got it. I don't know, we'll see, but let's go. When you feel it too, so let's do it again in here twice and then thank y'all again. So much for coming out and supporting the 8-Bit Artist Expo. Yeah. And myself, Gemini King. Again. Yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed class. I know the last little part was a little hiccup, but it's all good. Um, cool. Might be having another class next week on Wednesday. If you want to learn the choreography beforehand, good for you. That's already on YouTube with my name. Um, make sure y'all donate. Please donate or make a, a, a gift. The Artist Expo is doing this for free, but mm. it still costs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... Today's class is free. Make sure you donate. Thank y'all again for coming out. Let's do it two more times and have fun. Y'all want the lights on? Yeah, okay. <laughs> One of one, never run the up. I can run it up always. It up. I get what I want. I need bigger bucks. Every day is like Friday. You know Wait, it. every day is like my day. Need no back talk. Do it my way. Shut I up. take no breaks like a highway. Yeah. Looking like a whole meal. You want my place? Yeah, I want it all. Me and my friends, we gon' shot till we fall. Yeah, that's my man. He gon' pick up for spring every time that I call. I am a vibe. I am a flex. It is my time. You are not next. Walk in a room. I am best dressed, yeah. I am a vibe, show some respect Yeah, like I said, I walk in a room and I'm flipping heads like I turned a you coin know Hair looking neat in my face, they on beat, it's too hard to be me, but feel free to join Never. Don't be annoying, I'll call you back when I land, yeah. you know I'm coast to coast Bye. Me and my twin, yeah, we do the most, know we already gone when you see the post yeah. I want it all Okay, that was fun. Y'all, I'm so blessed, I accidentally left my candle burning I don't think I've literally ever done that like ever so thank god um my apartment didn't burn down while i was gone but the class was great shout out to daryl if you guys are in the area and you want to take some of his classes at the artist expo i'll leave their instagram in the description box down below but i'm so proud of him because you know we were talking a lot about this um we talk a lot about all of our dreams and aspirations and hopes and stuff so it's always nice when oh that put these heels back it's always nice when somebody actually does what they say that they want to do, you know, working towards their dreams and goals and stuff. I am starving and I'm also really irritated. I was going to take you guys along with me because I went to Walmart after this. I placed an online order and the class went pretty long. So by the time I got to Walmart, it was like a 30 minute drive and it was like exactly 10 o'clock, really like 9.58. And my pickup order was between 8 and 9. But I figured, you know, I get there an hour late. It shouldn't really matter like that. Child, they put the cones in front of every single possible area for you to um, park your car for the pickup. They didn't want to answer the phone. They was I, they, completely, no. Basically, long story short, I didn't get my Walmart order. And I'm very upset because now I have to go back to it. And that Walmart is like 20 minutes away. And I didn't eat my stupid banana before I went. And now my banana is brown. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. These are first world problems. I am starving though. I don't know why I forgot to eat. Um, I think I'm gonna make myself a salad just so that I can eat like right now. Or maybe I should have one of these fresh sweet meals. I mean, factor meals. Maybe I'll just have this factor meal since I'm hungry like right now. I'm not gonna be doing anything for the rest of the evening. So 
I'll check back in with you guys next time I do something fun. Good night. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Let it shine, shine. Make it blind. Watch me shine, shine. Fly, nothing you could tell me. I ain't looking down, feeling so free. Glowing up, I'ma shine, shine. VVS, shine like VVS. Medicated like a CVS. A1 chef, I've been cooking up. Like I'm on my ones and twos Aiming for the moon And I swear I'm gon' shoot I'ma let it shine like a diamond, yeah She gon' shake it like she from the islands, yeah You can't start to shine, it's too vibrant, yeah I so calculated, moving silence Ultra light, let it shine, shine Make it blind, watch me shine, shine Fly, nothing you can tell me Wednesday I just took an everything shower and it was lovely today at the gym boy whew, I mean I'm really loving going honestly because I'm really starting to see my body shape and shift which is just really fun but sometimes child I'll be like whew, it was hot in there and sometimes your legs just feel like bricks and other times you just feel so strong so I'm about to do my makeup, so today is really fun. I'm gonna go to a March of Dimes event called the Gourmet Gala. It's a celebrity chef cook-off. I think I took you guys with me last year. Um, I think I was vlogging. If I wasn't vlogging at the time, I definitely have been before. So it's, of course, again, March of Dimes. It's a fundraiser, and what's cool is that the celebrities are um, different congressmen and women, so. I invited my sister to come with me. I had to put it on her books like 30 days in advance, but she is basically on her way there now. And I'm like, wait a minute. Now, even though the events start at six, I ain't really need to get there at six. <laughs> so after my everything shower, and I honestly, I was on the phone really late last night. So I woke up really late. And then after I kind of just like laid around for a bit, got my life together, did my devotional. I was like, okay, I need to go to the gym right now or else I won't have enough time. And just wanting to stay consistent with it because I realized it's probably better to just try and do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because Friday, like, it's probably not going to happen. And sometimes I'll work out on Saturdays, but I kind of have to have, like, nothing going on. And this weekend should be pretty fun because it's Mother's Day, week Mother's Day weekend. So, yeah, I definitely won't be working out. I mean, maybe on Friday, but even Thursday, I kind of have... My schedule's getting booked and busy, honey. <laughs> My friend was like, you are Mrs. Free Time. Because I'm just like, oh, I have all this free time. So, like, when people are reaching out to me, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, yeah, I can meet up. And, yeah, let's go to dinner. And, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, wait a minute. I'm getting, like, booked. I'm getting booked and busy. Like, last week I double scheduled somebody. And I'm like, okay, you out in the streets a little bit too much. Calm your butt down. Excited to do a quick little full glam today. I wanted to do this earlier. That way I could film a podcast. Because, man, I got to get something off my chest. <laughs> Honey, I've had this podcast brewing and I really, really, really want to film it and like hurry up. But I just haven't, I haven't found the time to do it. So you guys will have to wait. <laughs> I'm planning on wearing one dress and I showed it to my sister. But then I think when I was in the shower, I decided that I wanted to wear a different dress. Then I wore a blue dress and then I decided that would throw it off if I basically try and repost it on my birth equity for all page. If you guys don't know, I have a women's health community organization. It's called Birth Equity for All. And it's all about tackling the barriers to safe childbirth through education and advocacy. And so I partner with March Dimes with a lot of my work, which is why I'm going to this event event to support them and again it is a fundraiser and it's in the city and it's fun yeah I can't believe I don't think I vlogged a lot no I think I did vlog it, if not I definitely made like TikToks about it like I made content but I think I was right in that time I think this time last year I had just started my new job if not I had been working for a little bit and so I drove from like Virginia to DC 
and I was like getting back to the idea of like I could vlog again but like still wasn't sure what my life was like looking like so this time of the year really is interesting isn't it but we're not going to get too into that because child I don't want to open up another can of worms I appreciate y'all though y'all gonna ride for me y'all one thing y'all gonna do y'all gonna ride even when it it's it's been a little bit overwhelming um, on social media for me this week because of the last vlog that I uploaded and kind of the responses and just trying to still find the balance between like being honest and real and open and sharing you guys things but again like things are happening like real time so not oversharing or speaking ahead of myself or speaking illy over a situation again especially like this is a lot of faith stuff and it's been very very overwhelming um and I still I've been doing a lot of like talking about it to try and figure out how exactly I need to move forward because this is something that I need to master I've been doing this for way too long and I give myself some grace but honestly I've been doing this for way too long to not find the right balance between oversharing and setting boundaries for you guys to feel like you know what's going on and for you to be up to date without like you all ignorantly speaking of things that you don't actually know about or you don't understand because I can't share them with you or like I just shouldn't share it with you at the time it may make sense it may not make sense um anyway I'm gonna do my full glam I'm gonna do another matte eye look kind of the look that I did when I went to the March for Babies walk the one in Virginia that got rained out and I didn't actually end up you know yeah but that look I love it when I look back at footage and I be like, oh, my makeup. Somebody commented today I saw on the video. Ooh, my little chest was open. Somebody was like, yes, the makeup is makeuping today. And I was like, thank you. I've really been, listen, I know I don't do makeup content, but don't get it twisted. I do this makeup stuff, okay? My face, like, please stop. Don't play with me. Please don't play with me. I think I may do, like, makeup content on my TikTok because I'm actually too good to not, like, showcase this with the world. <laughs> I'm being so dramatic. I love it when I put my little cocky, you know. It's kind of like when Drake talks his stuff. It's like, yeah, we love it when Drake sings songy, but sometimes when he talks his ish, you be like, yeah, Drake, yeah. That's how I feel sometimes. You know, sometimes you just gotta, anyway. My battery is blinking. I'm gonna go ahead and beat this face like I normally do. And uh, follow me on TikTok because maybe I'll upload some makeup content over there soon. Okay, bye. Okay, makeup is done. And <laughs> did I lie? Please. Please get into it, get into it, get into it. Every angle, every angle, okay? <laughs> so I'm getting dressed now. Um, it's kind of like, it's called a gourmet gala. Y'all know I say it like gala, but every time I say gala, y'all rip me to shreds. It is what it is. But anyway, it's a gourmet gala. Um, but last time I went, I wore like a longer dress and people are really like coming after work. So it's more like a cocktail attire. And I was talking to you guys about the colors that I was thinking about wearing. So I'm thinking about wearing this purple dress because I'm like, when else will I wear it, you know? It's pretty simple and it just has a little something here. If I don't wear this, I'll wear a blue dress. And if I don't wear, or I may wear a black dress. I never wear black, but... I think this is cool it's not too much and it'll match the color theme there that way all my pictures will be very yeah and I'm like where else am I gonna wear this dress I've had this for a while I actually got it from the brand is LM collection this is the style if you're really interested if you love this dress so much I don't think it's that cute I think I got it from maybe like Burlington or whatever for like $30 I was like oh yeah you know it's always nice to have a cute little dress in your closet but now it's been in my closet for a while instead of repeating an outfit let me wear something that i already have and slay in that all right let's get dressed this is what the dress looks like oh and i actually forgot it looked like this i don't know what i thought it looked like so this is what it looks like really simple and casual and it, i think it's supposed to also be off the shoulder so i'll probably like take pictures like this but it doesn't feel like super secure you know like it needs like something right here but this is cute like simple but effective okay so earrings i need to take this necklace off um surprisingly my one pair of purple earrings aren't really matching with like see how it's doing this i don't want it to do that anyway um i'm gonna do silver earrings it's between these two it has like this little bedazzle on the side and my only pair of purple earrings really just don't go i'm gonna go with these not to do too much and you guys already know we're gonna be wearing burberry her perfume tonight <laughs> tomorrow i really need to go to 
Sephora or Macy's because my mom says she wants a perfume for Mother's Day and I'm like of course you do of course because I, I had to straight up ask her because I'm like at this point every time I buy you something you don't wear it you don't use it I'm sick and tired of spending my money but y'all know I barely like to spend money on perfumes for myself so I'm like of course you want of course you want a perfume you want some one of the most expensive things but it's my mother and it's Mother's Day so I'm gonna do it anyway let's put on the perfume honestly ready to go oh to be a girl uh, and to be a pretty girl at that top tier <laughs> top tier yes I'm gonna hit it with some oil first it is so top tier being a pretty girl <laughs> if they have any Mother's Day deals I'll definitely get this for myself because I do think I really like it by the way my lip combo is the Fenty this thing is so jacked up stunna lip paint with Anastasia Beverly Hills stripped liquid lipstick I really need to get some silver heels but I don't have any so it's between clear heels nude heels or black heels I always want to wear black but I feel like nude is more what do I think what do I think Okay, we're gonna go nude and take this neck necklace off. Hopefully my feet don't, but then I wanna wear a black purse. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna carry this purse mainly because since this is a March of Dimes event, in case I do any networking, I didn't show you guys this. I was gonna have it for my table last week at the March of Dimes walk, but I got updated pamphlets. And I've showed you guys, I made these last year, but this one is updated for birth equity for all. So if I meet anybody, I can just kind of talk about birth equity for all. And yeah, and I made this on Canva and I printed it on Canva. So I can put a couple of these, I think, yeah, in here, just in case I meet anybody, you know, it's kind of like a business card, but a whole pamphlet. <laughs> that way people can reach out. Hello, Today I'm pretending to be a food critic because it's the 41st annual Gourmet Gala where over 35 members of Congress compete as celebrity chefs to fundraise for March of Dimes. Okay, let's eat. The white fish chowder from Michigan was an 8 out of 10. The southern fried mac and cheese from South Carolina was a 4 out of 10. I didn't like the sauce they put over top of it. The pork loin with sour cherry sauce from Ohio was a 6 out of 10, but because it's so unique, I gave it a 7. The gumbo from Louisiana was bomb, 10 out of 10, very flavorful, with a little bit of kick to it. Now, Idaho was very cute. They served mashed potatoes, but as a mashed teeny bar and little martini glasses, and then you could add your own topping. So honestly, 9 out of 10 for creativity and presentation, and this actually paired really well with the lobster stew from Maine, which was like a 7 out of 10, but 
I would have eaten a whole bowl of those two things together. Okay, next up, Tennessee. They served Nashville hot chicken sliders. That was a 2 out of 10 because the bread was hard. Then there was the salmon from Oregon, which was an 8 out of 10. Pretty solid. Now, I was scared for this California fish and coconut milk, but honestly, it was your typical seafood taste palette, 7 out of 10. Then we tried Natilia's from New Mexico, which is basically a custard, 6 out of 10. And the best dessert was from Virginia. It was banana pudding, 10 out of 10. So that's a recap of my night. I had such a great time. I voted for my favorites and left in a food coma. Shout out to Marcha Dines, always caring for moms and babies. The event was amazing. My dress was a hit. I feel like I just look so pretty. I feel like it was also really fast. Like it's 8.45 and I'm already home. We left perfect timing. I took my pictures. They gave the awards and I was like, let's get to valet, honey. And my sister got there so early that she let me know that they did free valet. Cause y'all know I've been on my, I'm just going Uber there. But I was able to valet. Everything was so smooth and beautiful. So very great night. Maybe I should do some laundry. <laughs> y'all to no I'm not gonna do any laundry tonight but I saw that there and I saw my clothes in the background and I was like maybe I should do some laundry tonight no um I don't want to take my makeup off though because it just looks so good love being a girl <laughs> anyway I will talk to you guys tomorrow uh I think I told you guys I want to go shopping for my mom for Mother's Day and that's really it so we'll see what we get into tomorrow lipstick on my teeth okay i think i'm good <laughs> happy thursday so i just finished getting ready i'm about to go out and get my mom her mother's day gift at least i think this is what i'm about to do um a group of friends said that they want to meet up for dinner i was supposed to meet up at six and then they moved it back to 6 30. if i leave right now i'll be like right on time or maybe i can stop and then i'll be like 30 minutes late I can't really decide what I want to do. Tomorrow I'm going to do my graduation photo shoot. My photographer just messaged me back and um, that's going to be at 9 a.m. I should put on my watch and stuff. So since that's going to be at 9 a.m. I'm like, <laughs> I hate doing things early because I want to curl my hair. Like how you guys saw I had my hair curled um, when I first got this hair installed. I'm going to try and do that on my own. I know it's going to take me a long time. I really should do it tonight, which I may because I'm like, but I'm like tired. I really didn't do much today. I did a lot of like admin content work. So doing stuff for Birth Equity for All, editing the um, TikTok that I put up from yesterday's event, editing this week's vlog, really just like chilling around and I was tired. I tried this one tea um, that I just got this past week in my grocery order from Wegmans and it has caffeine in it, but it ain't doing what it needs to do. It's the Yogi Sweet tangerine positive energy tea let me know what's your favorite caffeinated tea down below or are you like if it's caffeine i'm gonna go ahead and do coffee are you an energy drink girl let me know let me know down below so what do we think should i wait until tomorrow i just don't want to procrastinate i don't want to say i'm gonna do it tomorrow and then not end up doing it outfit is from shein by the way it's like a two-piece set and i'm gonna wear again a cute little Aldo sneakers because where they're meeting up at is called Pinstripes, which is basically like a little, not a bar. What do you call it when it's like, you can do bowling and not an arcade, but like kind of arcade vibes, you know? So this is my casual Thursday night arcade vibe outfit. I know it's probably super dressy for a lot of you guys, but Y'all know me. Y'all know how I do. Okay, so Nelson, the concierge, does. He's getting a little bit too comfortable, okay? I go in there to get my package, and he's like, 
it's it's time for you to go to the gym. Why aren't you going to the gym? Nelson, do not try and memorize my schedule, sir. Okay, we didn't go to the gym today. I think I'm, I may go. See, that's the thing. I got all this work to do when I get home. Not work, but like I have to prepare for this photo shoot. So I just maybe, maybe I was gonna go to the gym later on. Maybe I wasn't. But Nelson, don't be making me feel bad. <laughs> now everybody in the, um, I need to stop parking. But yeah, now everybody up here in the main lobby, I thought I didn't go to the gym today. You are doing me dirty. <laughs> This is a lot of parking on this street right here. I don't know if I should take the chance and go up a couple more blocks. She doesn't really care about the smell. She does, but she doesn't. I know her. She just wants a pretty bottle. I care about the smell. Oh, also you guys, yesterday I did get a compliment on my Burberry Her perfume, which means she's officially a winner. She worked really well with my body chemistry and I may pick her up today as well. I don't know, it's not about me. I'm not shopping for me, I'm shopping for my mama. <laughs> There's a park right there, but it's too small. Yes, I mean, since we go on perfume shopping, if they got it there, you know, they got any deals to put on. Okay, it's 627. Free parking starts at 630. They better not play me. Because I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. I, they better not do that. They don't, don't play me. the perfect gift already together. I like this, but they don't have this out on display. I think she would like this bottle too. Mm, I wonder 
around. I want like a box. Right. You have a look. You have a look. Take your time. Take your time to explore. This is the one. Okay, so I'll keep this in mind. Alright, take your time to explore. getting this one and I got my Burberry fur. So we are all set and ready to go. Hopefully the girls are still at dinner. I'm gonna meet up with them and enjoy the rest of my evening. We were supposed to meet at 6, it got pushed back to 6.30. I got there around like 7, 7.15 or so. Um, and we were talking the whole time. And then it's about 20 minutes away. So um, I ended up eating at Pen Stripes, which is like bistro, bowling. It was a cute place, really cute, just for like a casual dinner. I think I'll probably finish this. I got like the lobster mac and cheese. I really recommend, pretty good. Obviously, these were like new friends of mine, so I didn't want to have the vlog camera up in their face, but it was a really good time. We were talking the whole time. So that was dinner. You guys saw that I got my mom the Tiffany's perfume set. I figured that again, this would be really cute for her. And also, I got my Burberry her, and I want to get this out of here. I don't know if she put this in the same bag, but I did end up getting the Burberry her. And she gave me a free gift as well, like the bag. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep this looking as pristine as possible. Okay, so this is my gift. <laughs> this is my Mother's Day gift to myself. No, but this is the Burberry Her Perfume. And I went and I smelled it again. I know last vlog I told you guys that I liked the, I think it's called, ugh, I just saw it. The, the opaque pink one that's called something dream I thought I liked that smell better than this smell but then when I smelled them again next to each other I decided that I do like the um eau de parfum <laughs> I do like this one just slightly better they're like barely different but I think I do like this one a little bit better here she is in all her glory ah so cute I think the bottle is super cute too. I like the opaque pink one, but I really do like this smell. It's exciting and nice to have. And then, ooh, yes, come on, red Burberry makeup case. This is nice. I actually don't have a lot of makeup cases. And so this will be, it would be so cute if it was like this light pink color. I would use this all the time, but I mean, the red gives very 
boss energy so and it was free so i appreciate it that's my little haul of what i got today for me and my mom and then i picked up a few packages on my way in this should be perfect for my photo shoot tomorrow um i told you guys about how they don't give us our stoles they don't give us our regalia you can pick them up but you can only pick them up this week and it's in person and it's there in nashville and i'm here in dc so i saw that you could actually buy hoods on Amazon and these aren't like the exact colors um but this was like as close as I could basically get so actually this is definitely red and it said it was going to be maroon on the thing and I could have worn my other one that I have from NC State but listen I just figured that some of my pictures like I'm literally just going to do my cap and like a dress and I figured that it would look a little bit more like I'm graduating with my master's if I have my hood so i just got one off of amazon and then we have to also give our stoles back i hate when i call these the stoles these are hoods we do have to give our hoods back after grad we have to give everything back after graduation like you are renting the regalia so i figured that maybe it would be nice to have this as well that way before i get my regalia i could take pictures and afterwards i want to wear this around um this isn't like the same green as the one for my harry there's more like an olive green and this is more like a maroon color but it, it gives what it gives i don't think anybody's gonna be like that that hood is off only we will know okay this is a secret between me and you guys only we know that this is an amazon one hey if you want to go back to school to get your masters just go to amazon <laughs> and buy your own but obviously it wasn't that expensive it was only like 30 or so dollars so I'm glad about that next package that I got I'm really excited about because I low-key popped off on Fabletics this month I got way more than just like my month subscription last month I got a hot pink quarter zip up and I didn't love it because the color was a little bit off but I saw that I didn't have a color like that and I decided to keep it these are supposed to be the same color so I got these to match it and I got it before I saw it in person so similarly you see it's kind of like a purple pink color like it's not a Barbie pink but if they are the same color then I'll really like it because I want to wear them together I guess I should just go get it now and see if they're the same color because if not I'm returning both of them okay perfect match so I will keep this because this is a really cute set and you guys know I love to wear these both to work out and to run errands oh I got a really cute like three-piece set and it's in this really bright orange color which is different for me i'm starting to get a lot more orange pieces but overall i don't really wear orange like that but orange is so similar to pink so i usually really like it on so these are the bottoms and these oh look how cute this is in the back and these are their i think power holes leggings this is the matching sports bra to go with it oh i love a good matching set honey this is called the low impact strappy sports bra and this is what it looks like. Really simple, but I think the color is just gonna look amazing on me. I can't wait to go on vacation and like get a tan. So I did get another jacket from them. If you guys are new here, I do have a lot of these and I basically get them either from Walmart or from Fabletics. The ones from Fabletics are much more expensive, they are less expensive than Lululemon. So it's, you know, a nice dupe. I just want for them to come out with this in a pink color and they had it one time and I waited too late and it sold out and I thought maybe it would come back the next month and it hasn't come back since so when you see someone on Fabletics you just have to get it right away I mean honestly but but this is a really cute set perfect for the summertime and the last thing that I got is another two-piece set see this is a three-piece set wait a minute now this oh I love this pink I love this pink. It's like highlighter Barbie pink. It's so cute. Now I haven't had anything in this style. The ultra high waisted ruched pure luxe leggings. They look like this. You can see that they have this ruching and tie detail in the front. And I believe these are regular length but they're not long. I love this color. I wish I could get this three piece set in this color. I think this is why my order was so expensive. I couldn't choose between the orange and the pink. And I also was like, I need to get the leggings while they were in stock. So this is the same bra as the orange one, but it's just in pink. Seriously, so cute. Oh, I love this color. I'm sorry y'all, I'm just obsessed. It just, it just makes me really happy. 
It doesn't come with a jacket. It actually comes with this matching top, which I think is really cute. Um, it doesn't look like you would wear the top and the sports bra together because this actually has padding in it. And you can see it has the ruching detail. I'm not normally a huge fan of ruching in general. It depends on what it is. Like sometimes it doesn't feel classic and timeless, but I feel like this is something that I would wear lounging, not necessarily like working out, like a really nice athleisure set. And again, I really like the color. This is called the Ruched Built-In Bra Tank. So yeah, really, really pretty. Can wear this lounging around, running errands, looking really cute. And if I want to work out, I can wear it like this. And I'm sure I can find a matching jacket to go over top of this. And again, if they come out with this jacket in this color, I'm gonna buy it. But love the bright colors. You guys know I live my life in full color, honey. That includes the haul for this episode. Oh, guys, it's 11 o'clock. Like, I'm the kind of person where I just get so tired and I just wanna go to sleep and I will like wake up early and deal with the consequences. The problem is that sometimes I'm okay with that decision and sometimes I regret it because if you wait till the morning time, you may run out of time. Like I could say, okay, I'm gonna wake up at five and then I could end up like rushing and like running late in the morning time because I don't have enough time. Whereas if I do it at night time, there's endless time. Like there's no way I'm gonna be up until my photo shoot at nine, you know? But then I may not get any sleep, but at least it'll get done. But I'm really, really sleepy. Okay, first step is taking off my makeup, and the least I can do is take a shower tonight. But the question is, like, do I wash my hair in the shower and then let it air dry at night? That way it gets even bigger, or do I just brush it out from here? Oh my gosh. I'm, like, decision fatigued for some reason today. Like, I don't want to make any more decisions. I don't know what I'm about to do, but I'll talk to you guys later. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one else I know what to do. That's why I'm fine. I'm my love for you. I won't please you in any way I can. I want you to morning, y'all. It is 11.10. My photo shoot was supposed to be at nine, but literally when I sat down, I woke up at like six. By the time I like brushed out my hair and stuff, I did prep last night. I did, I took my shower, but I didn't obviously do my hair. And I'm, well, I maybe finished my hair like 20 minutes or so ago. I did take my time, but I knew once I sat down, I said, there's no way, there's no way I can finish this and do my full face by nine. So I just tried to put, push it back until 10.30. And then the photographer was kind of like, oh, I have a meeting at 11, but we could do three. And I'm like, that's perfect. That way I don't have to rush. So I took my time. I've been watching Bel Air and I did the curls so we're gonna brush them out and stuff later on I just made breakfast y'all I freaking cut my hand so bad like I was um I made avocado toast for breakfast on my English muffins you guys know this breakfast had me in a chokehold but I actually had to force myself to make this this morning because now cheesy eggs have me in the chokehold have you guys ever like had a breakfast and it's just like every morning you wake up and you're like I want that again like you guys know my breakfast burrito that had me in a chokehold for a good like two years and then it's because I haven't been really doing dairy but I just decided you know what I want some cheesy eggs and I was like yo this is so good <laughs> like I have been depriving myself of good breakfast food so the cheesy eggs literally just with some bacon and then the croissant that I got from Wegmans I'm like it oh it was so good like every day I was like yeah I need that I need that um but today I I don't know why I decided I guess because I was like I don't know I guess in my mind I was like chill out on the cheesy eggs like <laughs> You need to eat your eggs some other type of way. I also ran out of spinach. Anyway, before the cheesy eggs though, the avocado toast on the English muffin, that had me to choke cold. So I just love breakfast food, to be honest with you. I mean, I love all kinds of food. But anyway, so here I am opening up the avocado and it's not even that I missed, it's that the knife went all the way through the avocado and the pit to hit my hand. I'm like, dang, you just wanted some blood. Like you just wanted to pierce me for real. But luckily it's on my hand, it shouldn't really, uh, impact like the photo shoot or and it's on my left hand I should be okay but dang I'm like I'm over here bleeding in the morning time anyway I'm about to chill eat my breakfast watch the rest of this Bel Air then I'll get started on my makeup um once I'm done I can go through all my different looks because I honestly I just haven't mentally prepared for this photo shoot like I had a vision board but like I need to get my stuff together see if I need to iron anything which I don't think I need to 
yeah we're gonna get ourselves together that way this photo shoot can slay all right i'm gonna eat breakfast and then i'm probably gonna start my makeup shortly afterwards because i really want to take my time and like do a nice long beat oh i love taking my time doing my makeup i can't wait to look cute i'm so upset that i messed up first of all stay humble okay because my makeup I was not having a good makeup day and I'm like, oh, you saw all that mess. I mean, I think it came out good. Like, I think I still look cute, but like, definitely not my best work, you know? You can't hit it out the ballpark every single time, but yeah, with that in mind, I definitely should have been a little bit more humble with that. And then I really messed up because, y'all, tell me why I didn't, okay, you know how, I'm trying to put y'all up here, you know how it is when you know where something is and you haven't seen it in a while, but like you know that you own it, you know that it's like somewhere, it's somewhere, right? So I thought that last time I did my graduation photo shoot in 2020, I bought a black cap and I bought a pink cap. And I thought that I kept it specifically in this drawer where I have like a whole bunch of like just overflow of hats, scarves, bathing suits, just things that I don't use on an everyday basis. And I swore, like I can remember it being in this drawer. And so when it's, I'm packing now my bag and everything, I would show you, but if I move the camera, let me pack while I'm talking because I have to go in like 10 minutes. Um, I don't even think it's 30 minutes away. I just have it in my mind where I'm always like leave 30 minutes before. Sometimes it takes you more than 30 minutes, but I know that there's parking on the street. I should be fine. But anyway, long story short, y'all, I can't find my caps. Like I just bought new tassels because I was like, well, I already have the caps. And now I cannot find my caps anywhere. I had a black one and a pink one. I was planning on wearing both. Um, if you guys saw my previous vlogs, I did buy a white one for the look, which I think by the time you guys see this, it may be out. So, or, ooh, maybe not because it'll be going along with the podcast. But I basically want to film the podcast cover today as well. And so I bought a white cap for that. I feel like he may have a black cap, which I hope. I mean, if not, then this will just be a branding photo shoot and not a huge graduation one. I still have my hood, thank God, and I still have my stole. So it's not that big of a deal, but I definitely like want it to take a lot of pictures with my cap. And so now I have a pink tassel, a green tassel, a white tassel, and I don't have a cap. <laughs> like, what the heck? And I have no idea where it is. Like, I've looked everywhere. I have no idea where it is. I have no idea where it is where they are because both of them and like the pink cap like it would have been so cute like if he has a cap I'm sure he'll have a black one but he won't have a pink one but I think maybe I didn't get a pink I didn't get a pink cap or maybe I had a black cap with a pink tassel I pray that he has a black cap like that's that's the only hope we have left like that's it that's 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 all I've got left to hope for. Where are the caps at? Like, where did I put them? With that in mind, I've gotta move on. So, I'm going to, I need to, I need to like hurry up and leave. Oh, things were going so well. I was going like, I literally, oh my gosh. And it's just so annoying because I literally would have bought one on Amazon. I just thought that I already had it, you know? I should have looked ahead of time, but you know when you just think that you have something like you don't really look for it because you know that you have it somewhere we are here it's like the hottest day of the week so far it's literally been chilly this entire week and of course today all the noise is going on of course today when i'm like "Ooh, a nice little breeze would be nice child it wants to be 84 degrees and i don't want to complain because i'm really re ready for the weather to break for it to be warm outside um but like not right now you know what i'm saying it took me a minute to get out the house because i had to take two trips because i have all the bags with my props and stuff all gonna work out it's gonna be fine if i wasn't meant to have a cap on i'm not meant to have a cap on um he said he was running a few minutes late so i'm just waiting on him to get here and for some reason my air conditioning is not working and it's like literally not today i cannot believe i had to drive here i mean so dramatic i'm blessed like i had to drive here ooh, with the windows down but you know when it's like it's a photo shoot day like i wanted to have like cool air blowing and it's only blowing out hot air which really sucks i'm like i'm gonna have to get that fixed soon because it's literally about to be summertime anyway i'll show you guys some behind the scenes once i get in and we start shooting
to be a look. But I'm like, why is it kind of cute, right? Oh, and then like you got the hair right there, so yeah, it works. <laughs> so yeah. That's yeah. the side, right? Yes. Okay. Good news, I take it. early to try and curl my hair I'm definitely gonna roll this up that way I can wear it tomorrow so tomorrow me my mom and my sister are going to brunch I think as well as my aunt um, like a Mother's Day brunch and it's I think somebody from Real Housewives of Potomac who's hosting it so I'm gonna sit down watch Bel Air I got myself some checkers for dinner all four looks are done and obviously we're like celebrating <sighs> it's a lot of emotions it's really hard to vlog real time. I want to keep it real with you guys and also share the exciting things with you guys when it happens. Anyway, just wish me congratulations. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm literally like on cloud nine. I look good. I feel good. I'm just about to like just fly. I'm like, I'm like about to just, I don't know, just sit in my happy feelings all night long and i'm gonna have a great weekend good morning i actually haven't put on a lip yet i was gonna do a bright lip but why do i feel like because i never do a bold lip with pink i always do nude but i just don't i mean i know i i know i look good don't get me wrong but it's just not my best like i don't know why it's just not hitting like how it normally hits today this dress is from she and it's so old but it's like hitting different today like it just looks so good today like the body looks good but what do you think should we do a bold lip should we do like a bold pink let me look like a clown putting this on mm. <laughs> okay all right we're going with this i think i'm saying that because i'm also gonna wear these pink furry heels and my pink furry purse with this there this one like who is she why am i doing the most right now I still have not, obviously I haven't put things away. But yeah, these are my shoes. I'm honestly ready. I'm wearing my Burberry Her today, my new perfume. And I don't know if I want to give my mom her gift. And it's raining. Oh, I hate the rain. Well, I shouldn't hate the rain. It serves a purpose. It's just not my favorite to give my mom her gift tomorrow because I don't want to I don't want to have too much stuff in my hand. I'm a mother. I'm not, but come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Oh, and this is the thing. Do I want to bring my camera with me? I think I may just vlog on the phone because that's just what I'm feeling today. So I'll see you guys at the end. If I wrote you a symphony. 
just to say how much you mean to me What would you do if I told you you were beautiful? Would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love, love. So don't give away My love, love. So don't give away Ain't another woman that can take your spot My love So don't give away My love, love. So don't give away My love, love. Is another woman that can take your spot, my love Good morning, happy Sunday and happy Mother's Day. So I just drove down here to Waldorf to go to church with my mom and my sister. Um, if you guys saw last vlog, they had their church anniversary. So I was here to see their church and she wanted me to come to her church service this Sunday. So I'm so sad to be missing out on my church, but um, yeah, so I'm here. Kudos to me, you guys. I drove all the way out here. First of all, their church service is a whole hour before mine um, back in DC. My church is 10 minutes away. 15 minutes away from my apartment this church is you know Waldorf is 45 50 minutes away and I'm here 15 minutes early clap for me clap for me I'm not on time I'm early so happy Mother's Day mom hope you appreciated my um what is it punctuality <laughs> I didn't even know the word because I don't even be doing it but anyway I definitely want to thank God for my beautiful children that are here today Woo! There are no eating or drinking. Mark, if you say it's wrong. Tiffany! What? <laughs> oh. Bag got a little uh, jank in transit. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. But see, yeah, I'm like, the perfumes, they're gonna. Uh... Oh, wait, who's that by? Mm, does that say John? John Hope? Jack. Jack. Jack, Jack Hope. Your collection is getting steep. Yeah. It's getting hard out here. <laughs> I was looking at like, okay, she has that one, she has that one, she oh, has that you did? one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh okay. mm -hmm. Magic Life. That's nice right here. I like that. Oh yeah. Bet he was like one thing about you, you're gonna have your name on <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a B or a cross everywhere. Cause like on a day I had my B earrings on, oh. and I was like, "It's one thing about you." And I was like, "I don't know where I got that from." But I get my name. I'm gonna get my name. Mm -hmm. Obviously, my name is not readily available, so I'm gonna get a B. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so this is beautiful, right? Ooh. Yeah. Should I tell y'all like bottles? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you got so many gifts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Christmas up on her. Right. That's nice too. Yeah. I've never smelled the bad perfume. Have you ever? Have you ever? Well, you know, it's just like not your vibe. It just depends on what you like. Right. And I don't have no It could just be like not your vibe, you know. <laughs> Help me with these. Oh. <laughs> Boy, I know, right? Boy. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to be like, what is it saying? Because I just had to figure out his charms. Not that Not one. <laughs> Biggest. That we do need a glass of spring. It says Mother's Day 2023. Oh, nice. And then on this side it says Brianna Rice and Brianna. Oh, thank you. Oh, I like Let that. See. Very nice. You spelled my name wrong. <laughs> you silly. I was like, dang, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I don't have any more children, no more gifts. <laughs> you tell us. Right. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. This morning, bring him to church. Was that a... Was that a 
Do you need assistance? <laughs> Thank you, darling. You're welcome. <laughs> and now you're going to get your crabs and your day will be complete. Your day be complete and then the announcement that's over. I ain't got to worry about that for like next Sunday. <laughs> Y'all just don't understand. That's looming over you, huh? Yeah, it was looming over me. Really, really. You did great. Everybody loved it. Yeah. Regardless. Same diff. And plus, yesterday, it was a good thing we did, though. Because it was a nasty day. Hello. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Um, what did it say? Like, airdrop? That's your, your photos. Cameras like that. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's newer than my camera and my camera does it. Hey guys, so we're here at mom's house. I just changed outfit. We're all wearing orange for our crab outing. I'm gonna vlog on my phone because I don't feel like taking this big camera with me. But that's the update. Everybody here in our orange. And we're here for good morning it's the next day yesterday was a lovely mother's day i was so people i don't think i showed you guys i tried to record on my phone but i think i ended up not pressing record accidentally but after we ate crabs we ended up going back to my mom's house and everybody was just you know chilling relaxing vibing i was so tired by the time i got home i couldn't even film an outro so this is that thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're not already. Ring the bell that way you don't miss notification from me. Follow me on my social media at breland.hunt and live each day to the fullest because you only live once. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Any good